Welcome back to another Real Talk Reaction. This one is for Star Trek Discovery. Season 1, episode number 1. I want to make sure I get that correct. This is uh, the second show that was recommended and went out on the polls on our Patreon page. If yeah. you guys want to put recommendations, also participate in the polls. It's just a $1 tier, so check that out. Yep. Also, full and early access uh, versions are available on Patreon as well. That's but right. without further ado, let's check out episode one. The new, new Star Trek. You've served under me for seven years. I think it's time that we talked about you having your own command. I'm grateful, Captain. Though, how could be significantly more so if I thought we had any chance of ever returning to the ship? These are our footprints. You've walked us in a circle. Not exactly a circle. Adventurous, daredevilish. Captain, and as you're here, this to a minimum, I wouldn't want to put my colleague at risk. And you, Mr. Saru, are you equally happy not to be put at risk? Oh, on any occasion, Captain. <laughs> you realize, once you reach that scattering field, you could be cut off from all communication. We've come all this way, Captain. It would be irresponsible to leave whatever that is unknown. Oh, I didn't know she was going to, like, fly. I thought it was going to be like a thruster thingy. Yeah, breathing like that, too. <laughs> Shinjo, are you able to see this? Michael, can you hear me? Acknowledge. Michael, can you hear me? Acknowledge. Shinjo, do you copy? Its surface has the appearance of stone with an exoskeleton of metal alloy. Incredibly intricate. The construction and design are nothing short of astounding. I wish you could see what I'm seeing. It is sublime. It's a possible to discern a practical purpose. Go on to lay on it. Get a closer look. Morning. Proximity alert. So it's coming by her. Is it in the suit too? Scanning for database recognition. I cannot be confirmed. Hang on. I'm Commander Bonner. Of the United Federation. <laughs> Stab? Still no sign of Commander Burnham. Mission clock runs out in 15 seconds. I killed and command my whole attack base. Hell, which one did you got? Is that the guy that she just stabbed? Is that who this person is? Could be. Three hours? 
Anti-proton therapy regimen incomplete. Commander, what are you doing? Prematurely, medical emergency. There's no time. Commander, wait. The recombination process is nowhere near finished. Oof. Put you back in the anti-proton chamber. Do you understand the effect of genetic unschooling? You don't want to die that way. Commander! I trust you. Yeah. Tell me what happened. He ambushed me. I hit my thruster pack to get away. I somehow knocked him into his blade. I killed him. But that object could be hiding a Klingon raiding party obscured behind that scattering field. If there are Klingons in the sector, they may be responsible for the damage to our relay. If there are Klingons in this sector, we should withdraw immediately. This is Federation space. Retreat is not an option. Oh, there's a lot, babe. Oh, no, it's just one big one. Hey, hey, Unidentified Klingon vessel. The Federation starship Shenzhou. Please respond. Is there any chance they can't hear us? You're transmitting on every subspace channel there is. Your order is commanded. Any response? No. Commander. There is something I'd like to show you. They contain Klingon biological material in various states of decay. Remote dating is wildly divergent. Some bones date back thousands of years, others only hours old. Their entire ship is covered with coffins. Mm -hmm. mm. Commander, That's the captain yeah. listens to you. Tell her, we must withdraw. <laughs> captain, to the bridge. Is fire on him? Status. Massive photonic activity on the Klingon object, Captain. Output is over 1 billion lumens per second. Oh, it's that light. Beacon. Where the beacon? 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 So now all the other Klingons should come to the light. It's a signal pulse. Is there a message? This may be the message. Captain, what if they're calling for the same thing we are? Back up. Long range sensors to the maximum cell room. More Klingons are on the way. I want as much notice as possible. Permission to leave the bridge, Captain. Are you kidding? It's relevant. I'm most certain you did not call me for emotional solace. We're facing off. No fire has been exchanged. But they didn't turn on that beacon until Starfleet was on its way to our position. I think there's somebody more of their kind. An odd proposition, given that their empire has been in disarray for generations. Captain, we have to give the Klingons a Vulcan hello. If their intention oh. is to attack, yeah. It would be logical for you to take into account my success rate during our seven years together and execute my plan without further challenge before we're dragged into war. Starfleet doesn't fire first. We have to! In my ready room. Now, all right, you getting a little Senator bit too to too turned up now. Yes, Captain. You're getting about the goddamn chain of command. You got a professionalism. Come on, bring your ass over here. We'll talk to you. Computer privacy. For real. She campaigning for this gunfight right here. You're right. I mean, I myself. Yeah, you need to calm down. We ain't firing on the damn Klingon, Klingon baby. Easy, Michael. She's right, though, I bet you. You know she's probably right. She just hit her with the Vulcan. Mm. I'm sorry. She just hit her with the Vulcan. I'm sleeping. You're relieved, Mr. Saru. Where is the captain? I provided her with Klingon intel from a personal source on Vulcan. She's passing it to the Admiral. She is just as hot headed as she was on the walk of the day. you are doing betrays the wishes of our captain. Target phasers. Take your station, Commander. This is mutiny. Move, Saru. Tactical. Move. We're locked on. Fire! Melinda's order. Damn, how you wake up so quick? I'm trying to save you. I'm trying to save all of you. Stand down. Yeah. You're being a little reckless, girl. Yeah. It is not. It is not Starfield. No. No ships are clean. Thanos man by himself real quick.
Okay, that was episode one of Star Trek Discovery, and man, uh, Michael is a little high-headed, a little stubborn. But she's right. I she want to know. Right. I'm like super intrigued, honestly, about her Sometimes backstory. Wrong, like, where is she actually from? How did she get with the Vulcans? Because yeah. I don't think she is Vulcan because she's very emotional. She's yeah, definitely no. human. No, it looks like she was training, you know, during the Starfleet training thing or whatever. No, but I think they like took her in after her parents, parents were killed died, by the Klingons. And then like, brought her all, to the Federation? All those people in there were Vulcans. Like, she was the only human. And oh. we see that flashback of her oh, as a okay. I didn't notice everybody was a Vulcan. Either. Um, so... Alright, well, that's probably why she got a super tie in. To the, but I'm sure all that's going to be explained because they already showed you right there. They're going to do flashbacks. Yes. So we got flashbacks popping off. Um, Alright, so we're going straight into it with the Klingon. That was some... I used to watch Star Trek off and on. Different ones. You know, Voyage and all. I think all of them pretty much had, like, a Klingon, a Klingon up in there. So um, that name is familiar. I do like I like the prophecy aspect of it too. I thought that was a cool added on. I like the whole like beacon and then everybody's gonna come in and they're gonna know it's mm -hmm. war time. So I like that aspect of it. I just now I definitely need to see how they're gonna get out of it. I think the captain's gonna die and she's gonna have to step into like just like every just like yeah, all the other ones. Yeah. yeah. Now you're the new captain now. Because like the other, I really like the other guy, the guy that's like, my only purpose was to sense when death was coming. That was yeah. the only purpose we were made. I really like his character too. Yeah. Um, but the fact that he did sense death coming makes it feel like they're going to get shot on and they're going to barely escape, but the captain's going to die. You know, kind of thing. Yeah. Like, She's probably going to have a whole new crew. She, that's probably what's going to go down. Because she, she should be the captain of this show, is what they're trying to show us right now. But... I mean, I guess just like when Captain Kirk came through, he wasn't the captain at first until the captain died and then he had mm -hmm. to step up and become... So maybe this is going the same path on there. I like how they explain, you know, about the Klingon from before that it was been a hundred years since they've been wiped out and not talking to each other. Now they're talking to each other. So all that cool, they were trying to bring you back into the fold and maybe this is just one of those things that this is not going to be the whole season. A Klingon. They're going to probably do this a couple episodes and then move on, especially after this battle we're about to have. Because like you said, I, I, think, mean, right, the, I think the captain about to die in this battle. Yeah, and the, the, the Starfleet people aren't going to get there in time. They're going to have to like... Yeah, it's going, to be, it's going to be cleaning up the mess afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of these people that we see now, we're probably not going to have on the squad moving forward. So I don't we'll know. We'll probably have a whole new team. I mean, team. I feel like there's... They, I think the number whatever three guy is probably going to go off with uh, Michael and they're still going to be a squad because I really liked his character. I'd be disappointed if we if he, didn't yeah, come he through. Back, I yeah. like their like banter and like the way that they in, uh, engage and interact. Yeah. But they didn't spend a lot of time showing us anybody else's character. So if that's what they're going to do and ultimately she's going to get our own crew own ship after this, yeah. I could see that taking place. But we'll, we'll have to wait and see how it yeah. plays out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, so far, they, they left us with a cliffhanger to definitely come on back to Perfect. see it. But, yeah. So, um, I'm liking the cast already, but we we pretty sure it's going to evolve into something else. So, interesting. So, yes. good pick, guys. All right, well, look. Thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk Reaction for Star Trek Discovery. Season 1, Episode number 1. And until next time, people. Peace. John five in the air, let's go! I got the beat, I be locked down Cause I'm the hardest dude in the club right now She got the beat, I be locked down Cause she the better chick in the club right now I got the beat, I be locked down Cause I'm the baddest chick in the club right now He got the beat, I be locked down Cause he the hardest dude in the club right now Look, I'm on the guest list, walking past these